abound and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Coming up it's a rematch from last year's AFC wild card round as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. Hello everybody with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon and Charles you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits, that's saying something. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. to the 25. Now Tua Tungabailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an Epic. interception. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. We take a peek at the list of inactives for this week's game. And gosh, this early in the season, Charles, injuries already accumulating for this squad. You got to wonder in this organization, are they just saying to themselves, well, hopefully we're just getting them out of the way early so we can make a late-season push when we have everyone back. It certainly feels that way with the number of injuries they've had already. 27 yards there, a first down. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Play action, now it's Tua. And get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pickup there, 21 yards. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Now a second and 10. Now Tua. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Durham Smythe, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. 
I know a lot of coaches like to break their season into quarters. And how about the first four games for this guy? Three touchdowns scored, really making his mark in the red zone here in the first month of the season. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. And he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season. In fact, he leads the NFL in passing yards. Now, that's not always an indicator of success, but in his case, it is. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got him, man. That's Trent Sherfield. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Now Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Ball on the 27. Here's second and three. Allen now looks to throw. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll run him off the first down. Play action. Now it's Allen. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. As they've got it as we resume action. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Here's Tungabailoa to throw. 
And this is incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And hang on here, we got an injured player, and that is QB2, a tongue of Iloa, who's in need of some assistance. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Deontay Hardy back deep. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, Usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards. So make it second and five. From the 28, it's second and five. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third in inches. And the Dolphins first down. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now White off the bootleg. Touchdown! Tyreek Hill, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. It's a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. Got to do what you got to do, yeah. man. Got to do what you got to do. A little worried about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Sanders now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Now Allen, the left side caught by Diggs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards that time for number 14. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To the air, Allen. Buying time to his left. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. But nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. 
So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. Allen's throw is complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 17-yard line. 21 yards there on third down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Allen will try again on second down. This to the tight end, Kincaid. Five yards, now it's third and five. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break you. Obviously, don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try to plan a comeback. They had tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And here comes Raheem Mostert in the Miami offense. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in and it called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. This time they stay on the ground. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Thirteen seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as we say goodbye to September and take a look around the NFL here on this first day of October. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And it's the Panthers who are out in front. Adam Thielen. Two touchdown catches on the afternoon. From there, we'll jet north to Ohio to check in on the Browns at home at Cleveland Browns Stadium. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Two touchdowns in that game for J.K. Dobbins. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City, see what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. A touchdown run there for Javante Williams. 
This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for possible comeback because I thought a lot of the best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out, continue to throw the ball effectively. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. First down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. On play action, Allen. That swung out wide to Harris. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. To the right side here, caught by Kincaid. Call it a gain of six on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And he is caught. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the four. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described. And he was able to do just that. On first down, Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. Allen off the play fake. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. The Cook getting the call there on first down as he works his way forward for a nice gain of five. Now second and five. On play action, Allen. Blitz coming and down he goes. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Setting up the screen, Harris. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now Tua. And he's taken down, but able. 
able to slip across the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. First down, Miami. A run with Mostert up the middle. Gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 77 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. First down, Elvin. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, Tugabailoa. That's going to be caught by Waddle. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they got into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. Now he's got it. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Mostert is into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this taken in at the goal line. The Bills ready to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Allen looks to throw on second down. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Well, down two scores in the fourth quarter. It maybe wasn't quite desperation time, but it was getting close. And that interception there on the deep ball, that probably slams the door on their chances. And maybe that was the thought process, that it wasn't quite desperation time. So now you take the shot before they're going to lay back any farther on defense. Go ahead and throw it downfield. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 96 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So here's a first and 10 at the 38.
Once again, it's Mostert. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Ed Oliver. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now out come the Bills. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And, what and Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Eli Apple. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. The Dolphins ready to take over on offense. And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. On the handoff, this is Moster. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Moster. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And it's third down. They hand it off to Mostert. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. A gain of a yard. It's now fourth down. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show. Yeah! Sky Bunny. 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 fucking making tunes where you want to scare people you gotta be out on the street fucking you know dishing out slaps it's gonna be crap